Well, what's up, buddy? It's Man 1313, and welcome to today's video about my external battery on my Jackery 500. And so I'm doing some prep here. We're going to try to do as best as possible a real world test. And so what I'm hoping to do is plug in all the things that I would run off of this system um, and see how long it runs. That's basically the bottom line, right? I mean, that's all that matters to me. We don't care anything really about numbers. What we care about is if I plug my fridge, my lights, my cameras, batteries, whatever, how long is it gonna charge for? And so what I started with, I went ahead and just put the battery here on the floor. I was gonna put everything up on the couch there so we could see what it is that I'm putting on. I haven't attached anything yet. Um, preliminary, I put this to 100. I charged this all overnight. This one's charged to 100 all overnight. Everything, I mean, and it stayed there for actually, I did it two nights ago, and it stayed there charging um, until this morning. Uh, my weakest thing is going to be keeping up with how much um, charge this has left. Now, once again, we don't really care. What we want to know is how many days can this run everything that I'm about to run on it. And so that's really my real test, but I was going to try to, I have this extra um, monitor that I had on one of my other systems, on my main house system. And so I want to see if I can um, get that thing to monitor our battery. All right, so I've got the battery monitor set up. Um, it's not super accurate. That's why I'm not using it anymore on my main system. I am planning to only use the SAE um connector that i made or bought from the battery straight to the jackery i'm not planning to use the battery itself in order to um be able to use that and count the the hours plus if i hide this if i have this big battery underneath stuff and i'm not using it i'm only going to be using it to charge the jackery um i don't have to turn anything on and off which is what's nice about it and so I think I'm gonna run it like this, just straight everything straight off the Jackery, which is what I normally do anyway. I just never have the extra battery. And then we'll go from there and measure from there. It is 10.30 on March 25th, Saturday. And I don't know what to predict, but the very first thing we're gonna do is plug in the fridge. It has not been on, so it's going to, and I'm gonna clean it, so please don't be upset with how dirty it is. I'm gonna clean that while we're doing this test. So you can see 66 uh, degrees, so it's not even, there is stuff in there. I will leave it an eco. I always have an eco, so I'm not going to change what I usually do. And that's going to be it. We're going to go from there. I'm not going to plug in the battery, the big battery, until I feel like I need to up there. All right, so this is basically the stuff that I use when I go out camping. And then you stop and think, well, what the crap do you need this big old battery for? And that's how I tell myself, you know, what the crap do I need it for? But there's a lot of times where I just don't run things because I'm a little worried. I'm like, I don't want to run out of battery at all. And so anyway, that's not really the point. The point is, can we make it last longer? How long can we make it last? The most hungry thing is my computer. Um, but I ended up buying, and once again what do you need this crap for but i ended up buying sd cards extra sd cards so that way i don't have to be transferring to a hard drive and this and that i just trade out sd cards i didn't realize how cheap they have gotten i remember having to pay <laughs> yeah i'm showing my age but it hasn't been that many years ago i remember having to pay 40 50 60 dollars for you know 128 gig sd cards and now the really good ones are like 15 20 bucks and so i ended up ordering a few and i'm probably going to order a couple more just so i never have to change out um i don't have to transfer things into the, the hard drive i can just take sd cards and just change out sd cards and number them but still something i use when i can't sleep i am awful i, I just can't sleep when when i camp it's, i don't know if it's become a traumatic thing in my brain or just a whatever so laptop i'm gonna run it and let it run to about what normal it is um you see my headlamps are on i do use those my fan is running right now um my tablet would run all day headlamps i'm gonna just try to discharge one of these uh, battery packs and then my phone and then a flashlight 
and that's really it and that's really what i really camp with if i think of anything else as i'm doing this experiment i'll do it experiment i'll bring it put it in here and you'll see it but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let this just run just the um the uh fridge until my normal time that i would get to camp let's say three four five maybe six o'clock and then i'll come back and i'll see what this is at i'll probably check in through the day just to just for fun but i'm gonna let all this run as much as i can for a little while and then um that way they have something to draw and it'll give us a real world thing i think it does it's probably gonna push a little bit more than i would normally do but that's good too that that'll be good so all right stay tuned all right so now i'm pretending i'm at camp after driving six hours for today and i've got everything plugged in like i said the biggest <laughs> the biggest money maker the biggest killer is the uh the laptop and so now that's charging and we're gonna go from 30 let's get 40 watts we're up to 66 86 85 so then i'm gonna crank up the usb there goes the uh the ipad was at five percent so that's not gonna do much is it but it's charging and then i'm gonna crank up my headlamps it has a light somewhere i thought and then camera let that thing charge it's been recording all day just just to kill it and then my cell phone sometimes i do uh, i want to have it at a at 100 percent when i get to, to sleep um the laptop only because it's using ac and like i said in my other video that's the most inefficient way to charge things is through that um through that so um yeah i'm gonna let this go like this for a little while i'm gonna go cook me some dinner and do my thing and then i'll come back in a little while and check out and see what it's at all right so it is now 7 30. so everything's been charging for a bit and let's see 100 percent all this is a hundred percent lights are all off so that's good to go now i could turn all that off the um the fridge stays on all the time how we doing with the hundred percent charge so we can turn that off which it shuts itself off anyway so um all good to go now comes the real thing so this is what i would probably would wake up to in the morning is about a 48 50 percent charge sometimes a little less now we're gonna plug in and we're charging at 85 watts and this is gonna actually start timing and working now it's showing negative 6.1 amps 81.7 watts yeah all right i'll try to check back in on it in a little bit unless i fall asleep we're at 100 percent and the fridge is still running it is 7 30 in the morning good morning from home camp and yeah so in the morning i would probably just turn on some lights because it is still dark sorry let's run these two the battery and the light let's find something else that i would plug in light on fan on super high i'm gonna leave the laptop running today so I can plug it back in when I get back from my trips that I do. Everything should be at 100%. Alright, welcome to our pretend day. I've driven all day. 
And now I'm at camp. 73%. This thing's never gonna die. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna plug in. Let me charge the uh let me charge the uh the tab the laptop is dead. Run some of these lights. Go ahead and charge all the those things. And we're gonna go ahead and plug in. Alright, so it's um, Monday morning now, 6 a.m. I'm gonna go get ready and go to work. Alright, 7.30 on Monday night. And just leaving stuff running that I would, I mean it would be, I'm still, everything that has been going on has been just about what I would do. So. There hasn't been anything too crazy that I've tried to do that I wouldn't normally do or charge. If that's anything, if that's correct, we've got 79, yeah, you can see it, 79% battery, still got 158 amp hours in the big battery. And this one is sitting at 62% um, right now. So we're going to start charging this one up now. All right, so I moved this down um, because it was making a weird noise sitting on the soft couch. I forgot to discharge my laptop today, so I got another laptop that I needed to charge anyway. So I plugged it up. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna leave it running. Plugged in, it's um, outputting a little more than it's inputting. So that's kind of good. Oh, there it went. The uh, compressor had kicked in on the fridge and it was not at 83, but yeah, you really can't just, <laughs> I'm not going, this is going to be awesome. I'm very excited about this. Um, what a mess of wires, right? If that's what you're looking at, because that's what I'm looking at. Um, but I'm very excited about this because all this test is telling me is that I've got power for days for the things that I need and want. all right good morning we are in um let's see we started saturday sunday monday tuesday so we've had three and i've thrown everything that i can at it obviously everything that i would charge let's say i discharged everything every single day which i don't but um i've thrown everything that i have at it and the big battery is at 50%, if that's accurate. All right, back from work and um, trying to run things down. I actually went and got my rock lights that I got for Christmas that I want to install. Things that I do use. Um, it's not like I'm just coming up with things that, you know, from around the house. These would be things that I might use and plug in. So um, I've got a flashlight plugged in. I've got um, an old camera that I hardly ever use plugged in, a little green one there. Can you see my finger? My finger there's my finger there. Um, and just things like that. I've got stuff plugged in here and there. Um, I'm gonna run those rock lights. And yeah, let's see, I'm only running 48 watts. But supposedly the laptop is charging right now. So yeah, let's run this for a while and later on tonight, um, after dinner I'll come and make sure everything's charged up or whatever and then we'll plug her into the big battery and see what we take her down to, but. Alright, so I'm going to plug in. We're going to go to 80 watts there. And we'll drain some more of that one. 63 watts. Oh, it's pulling. All right, it's uh one thirty in the morning. I just I got up. I couldn't sleep. Just came in here to check on this. It's at a hundred percent, so I unplugged it, and 
now we're showing 38% on the main big battery. Alright, what's up, buddy? And here we are. Um, on our experiment, it is Wednesday night, 8 p.m. And I've been running what I can. I've been charging the uh, laptop up there. Refrigerator still going. We are at 45% on the Jackery. We are at 38% on the main battery. If we trust that measurement, it's close. I don't. I wouldn't say that's completely accurate, but it's close. And so we're gonna go ahead and plug in. Still popping out 80 watts. And she's on in 6 amps and 80 watts coming out. Alright, what's up buddy? Good morning. It's 6 o'clock in the morning on day 5 of this imaginary home camping trip. Um, we've now had 4 nights and we are into day 5. I just unplugged this and realized it wasn't charging anymore. maybe it got to a certain percentage and it's not charging last night when i put it the charger was about 40 something percent it's at 67 percent there but at 25 percent over there um we can turn that one off because that's fully charged fridge is still going i think this afternoon when i get home i'll see if um, i've got to go to work now but this afternoon we'll plug in that little machine, that little device that I had bought, that little converter, DC, AC, DC thingy, whatever it's called. Um, we'll do that when I get home today from work. All right, home from work. It's five o'clock, and the Jackery's at forty-nine percent. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in and see what's going on here. It wasn't charging before, remember? Oh, six. Hmm. So we're gonna probably gonna try out that other piece that I had bought. Let me go get that. All right, we got this little thing that I, I haven't returned it yet. Let's see. I plugged it in straight from battery. Then out. We were getting zero volts before. Oh, 68 watts not the 80 remember if you saw that first video um, this thing is some kind of step up thing where it takes 12 volts and turns it into 19 and this and that and it was supposed to turn it into 100 watts but that never worked out all right well I came just to check on uh, on the battery but take a shower took a shower and I came in and that was off and the charging was off so it wasn't giving anything else it was done and so five days and six hours is what I'm gonna call it five days and six hours of charging everything I could throw at it running lights for a good bit of time and just charging this mess of stuff that I had all kinds of things now the Jackery is still at 48%, so I'm going to let it run. But I'm going to call the big battery five days and six hours um, to deplete it by charging up the Jackery um, every time it, it was getting low. So basically it would get down to 40-50% as you saw. But again, we didn't charge anything. We did not charge. We just ran it. And ran it and ran it without putting anything back into it we only pulled stuff out of it I'm happy I'm happy with that very very happy with that and I'll probably start cleaning up all this mess that I have <laughs> it did it I mean I've not been on a six-day trip and um, yeah I, this is this is this is gonna be awesome this is gonna be plenty I can run my rock lights at night I call them rock lights my camp lights underneath the car 
I can run the lights inside the car. I can run the lights anywhere. I can I can do anything and everything just about without worrying about losing battery power. And truthfully, I can charge the battery while I'm driving during the day and pretty much not have to worry about anything. So very happy with the results.